It's me again, teacher Wilson. And today, we will learn, explore, and discover the world of science. Are you ready to learn, kids? That's nice to hear. So our lesson for today is all about types of mixtures, the suspensions, and colloids. Suspensions is a two-phase mixture in which a solid is dispersed or spread in a solid, liquid, or gas. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture because its components can be distinguished from one another. Solids such as clay and sand do not completely dissolve in water. A suspension is composed of two substances. The dispersed materials, or the solute in a solution, and the dispersion medium, or the solvent in a solution. The dispersed materials, when mixed with the dispersion medium, make the suspension turbid or unclear. For example, stirring fine pepper in a glass of water makes the suspension cloudy. Eventually, these particles settle at the bottom of the glass. The dispersed materials in a suspension are not uniformly distributed in the dispersion medium. These particles are visible in the mixture. Example is the sand in water. Now, let's have the types of suspensions. Solids can be dispersed in solid, liquid, or gas. Example, a cake mixture of sugar, flour, and other solid ingredients. The solid particles of the ingredients in the mixture are combined by mixing. A mixture of rice and corn is a solid-solid suspension mixture in which the particles can be separated easily by sifting. Shaking may also cause heavy and bigger particles to settle at the bottom. A suspension mixture is also formed when solid particles are mixed with a liquid. Example, if you mix sand and water, sand eventually settles at the bottom. Solids can be dispersed in gases. Example, the solid particles of soot and dust can be suspended in air. Liquid substances can form a liquid suspension if they are immiscible. Now, let's have the uses of suspensions. Certain suspensions are useful in household activities and in people's daily lives. Example, flour is combined with water when baking bread. Did you understand what a suspension is? That's great! At this moment, let's talk about the next type of mixture, the colloids. Colloids is a homogeneous mixture which at times can appear as a heterogeneous mixture. It is a mixture of a dispersed phase and a dispersion medium. The dispersed phase in a colloid can be solid, liquid, or gas. The dispersed medium can also be solid, liquid, or gas. Now let's have the types of colloids. The types of colloids are the solid salts, gels, solid foams, liquid salts, emulsions, liquid foams, and aerosols. When the dispersed phase and the dispersed medium are both solids, colloids called solid salts are formed. Examples are gemstones and pearls. Gels are colloids that result from dispersing liquids in a solid medium. Examples are jelly and jam. When the dispersed phase is gas and the dispersion medium is solid, 
A colloid called solid foam is formed. Examples are rubber bands and pumice stones. If solids are dispersed in a medium, colloids called liquid soles are formed. Examples are paint and muddy water. An emulsion is a colloid formed when both the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium are liquids. Examples are milk and mayonnaise. When gas is dispersed in a liquid medium, a colloid called liquid foam is formed. Examples are soap lather and froth. Colloids of gas are called aerosols. Example is a smoke. Lastly, let's have the uses of colloids. People use colloids in different ways. Colloids such as milk and butter become part of the food you eat. Colloids are also used in making other products such as paint, paper, and even lubricant. Medicines in colloidal form are easily absorbed by the body of tissues. That's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you've learned a lot of things. See you next time!